we will control humans at least in vbots simulator if you are working on a mobile robot project like autonomous car or robots for warehouses or in house robot application like roomba in these applications humans are crucial part of surrounding for the robots usually most of the times robot will have to avoid dynamic obstacles which are humans so in order to make fail safe robot stack we need to consider humans even when we are doing the simulation so in today's video we will first tell you of this particular human then we will see the block diagram of our controller and finally we will have a peek at actual controller and guys it seems intimidating but we have a hack in our code so that it's very easy to implement this so stay tuned till the end so let's start with uh, motion of human so if i click here if i click front arrow human goes front if i click right he goes right and you see i can pretty much make human make rectangles and you can navigate with human wherever you want so this i am controlling the human just with keyboard so if we see it in a bigger area in this warehouse floor where we have a spot robot so now let's look at the block diagram of this project so here we have keyboard block where this block is taking the input from the keyboard this input goes to a function where if we click front key we increment the trajectory in x direction if we hit a right key we increment the trajectory in y direction and similarly so vbots has done a great job and they have implemented a pedestrian joint control where if you just give trajectory in your physical plane vbots takes care of all the actuators which are different joints of your hands and legs so finally our trajectory goes to that particular pedestrian controller and finally you see human moving in the scene if this is feeling intimidating let's see the code and you will understand that it is really easy so we can go to human this pedestrian here and we are, we have a joystick code the link of this code is given in the description so if we click on edit you see here we make a controller and import keyboard so this is a function which takes in our keyboard keys and this particular code is the boilerplate code from pedestrian where vbots has implemented all the joints so if you see here these are the joints of human so we keep the constructor of the class same we just initialize our keyboard here and we enable it with 16 milliseconds as our timestamp and basically we have implemented a keyboard value function where you just take in the key value which is hit so if you see here we have key 315 which is for right direction as we discussed we just change the point to y plus point 2 if we see the key of 316 which is in uh, back direction so we do x minus 0.2 and finally we give this value to our startup and this is the function which gives all the joints so if you see startup so this function takes in the trajectories and gives each joint its value and that is how human is moving i think you guys can also implement a random function here and make human go randomly now we will do one more cool trick where we will add one more pedestrian human pedestrian robot add and we will have to copy this controller parameters 
controller pedestrian we will select our joystick and our control arguments will be same and now if you see we are able to control both the humans together so isn't this fun we are we just implemented a single joystick and we are able to move two humans with the same keyboard strokes so this was all about today's video if you like the video do share and implement your cool algorithms for motion of human and if you have any doubts do comment and subscribe to soft illusion and soon we will reach 2000 subscribers thank you